Welcome. You're watching a physics show video. All right, so to build this demo, you're going to need two five gallon plastic buckets, transparent tape, duct tape, a drill with different sized drill bits, a laser pointer, a desk clamp, a laser clamp, scissors, and goggles. Firstly, drill a hole one centimeter in diameter, roughly four and a half centimeters above the bottom of the bucket. Then, drill another hole four centimeters in diameter, 180 degrees across from the first hole, also four and a half centimeters from the bottom of the bucket. Next, using transparent tape, cover the four centimeter hole from the inside of the bucket. Avoid getting any fingerprints on the transparent tape as it will be used as a window to project the laser through. This is what the hole should look like once it's been covered with transparent tape. After, seal the one centimeter hole using duct tape from the outside of the bucket. Now that the bucket is completely sealed, fill up three-fourths of the bucket with tap water. Next, attach a desk clamp and laser clamp to the table which the filled bucket will be placed upon. Place the bucket on the table so that the larger hole is facing the two clamps. Clamp the laser to the laser clamp and position the laser so that it can pass through both holes. Use the top of the bucket as a guide to tell if the laser has passed through both holes. Place the second bucket directly under the hole with the duct tape on it in order to catch the water that will initially flow out of the bucket when it is first opened. Be sure to dim the lights and then slowly remove the duct tape from the first bucket. Slowly move the second bucket to the ground so the water can continuously flow into it. At this point, you should only see the laser pointing through the bucket. Continuously adjust the laser clamp so that the laser will go through both the first hole and the second hole. Once you've successfully gotten the laser through both holes, you should see a steady stream of water flow from the first bucket to the second bucket. Continuously adjust the second bucket so the water always flows into the bucket. 